Alright guys, we just now killed the boss. Looks like this is just going to be a preparation type video. Oh, where did Heather go? She's just gone. And there was no archer. Look at that archer right there in the bottom right corner. There was no archer in this level. Where did he come from? So yes, he mentions Meg from the first chapter. The first time I played this, Meg was my only unit that died, and whenever she's like, he was like, no, hey, Meg, she'll be fine. I was like, uh, sure. So, let's see. They talk about going to inform Alincia of what is happening. If you're hearing that ticking in the background, that's my Wii. I apologize for that. Chapter 2, Tides of Intrigue. So at Castle Crimea, we have Brom, Nephany, and Alincia. So they're like, thank you for bringing that to my attention. So Brom's story confirms what we suspected all, of, all along. So they talk about firing up a rebellion. She talks about how she just wants peace. And Brom mentions the country's a safe place to live, and that's more than most can say. What utter nonsense. Would you like me to appoint his capture? We don't have enough to arrest him. If we have no evidence, we'll have to dig some up. So now we have our first little base thing right here. So you have Heather. She talks about how she really wanted to go see Alencia. So they want to ask help accompanying DeFray because they have to do some espionage, which is stealing. I had a real bad ca case of that. I got an awful rash all over my back. No, no, no. Espionage. It's about stealing secrets and not getting caught. And that works, would work well for Heather because she's a thief. Then we have the Lagoos conversation with Leith and Mordecai, back from the last game as well. And these will be your first official Lagoose units. I don't think Neeluchi really counts, because I don't think he's in this next one, but I don't know. He might be. So they talk about how Galley would like to aid. If there's even a hint, there might be even more problems. So they won't report it to Gallia. Leith doesn't really retain her personality as much, but she still has it. You should just kill him and get it over with. My thoughts exactly. But that doesn't it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. And you can't just walk up to somebody and be like, I hate you and kill them. She says she'd like to go. No, you're not going. 
Well, if she's going, then I'm going too. <laughs> oh gosh, she cannot win. Just sew something in my collar. It's a good luck charm. Be careful. So she gives you a talisman. And as for Geoffre, I know I can't stop you, but I want you to take this. An elixir. And really, all that. That's really all it mentions. It's like they mentioned they're not going to fight, but they may need it just in case. And they will. So here's what Lucia has really quickly. Uh, what does the talisman increase? Resistance against magic abilities. I will give that to... I'd like to give it to Har, but he's not here right now. So we'll trade it over to Nephany, I suppose. I'm going to trade over the elixir um, to Nephany, but I'm going to trade it back to somebody else. Alinsi is not going to need the elixir, and uh, you won't be using her in the next part, or in the final part, so it's kind of pointless. Uh, I would give Leaf some kind of healing item, just a vulnerary. She doesn't need anything major. Uh, you can sell the antitoxin in the next one. You can't have the shop right now. As for the XP, don't give any to Delucia. Give most of it to... Uh, Nephany. I'd just recommend Nephany. If you want to give some to Braum, then go ahead. Or Leith. Uh, don't give any to Mordecai or Heather, though. Mordecai is not as good as Leith. Just like the last time, he's not as good. Because he can't double anybody. His speed is very poor. Which is unfortunate, because if he could double people, he would actually be a very good unit. But oh well. So I guess we'll get started on Tides of Intrigue next time.